So here we are in the middle of our journey along the U.S.-Mexico border. And this is why I came on this ride, to see it in person, to see with my own eyes what's out here on the frontier. I think I have something to show you regarding the border fence wall. Let's see it. We fabricated 50 miles of border fence. This fence, each panel is connected with the tongue and groove section so that the panels can move independent of each other. The other fence is embedded in concrete along the border. So this is the only one that's full floating and dynamic. I think that the different terrains merit different designs for sure. So for example, the PV4, the full floating fence for the dune area. And then if you have flat areas and you can do sort of a PV1 style fence, which is just a straight picket with some anti-climb over the top. And then for the very desolate areas, maybe a, a Normandy style fence, that's really the most practical for really desolate areas, just to prevent vehicles from coming across. You're involved in building the wall to keep Mexicans out, but you're of Mexican descent right. yourself. That's like, right. I mean, how, how, does, how does that feel? Well, I certainly don't have any uh, any real emotion to it other than than it's uh, it's really another project for us um, first of all we believe 100% in doing things legally and so I think legal immigration is the way to go is there is there a real need for immigration reform completely the fence will reduce illegal immigration but it won't stop it you know the government is doing their best but um, I think there's, there's certainly room for improvement. Let's hope that they can get there. This morning, we're in Yuma, Arizona, and we're getting ready to ride what I'm imagining will be one of the highlights of this trip. So we're heading into a section of road known as El Camino del Diablo, the road of the devil. It's a dirt road that goes through several different wilderness areas, 150 miles of dirt between any potential fuel stops. What we know about this area is that it goes through three different bureaucratic or land management areas. First is the Barry Goldwater Air Force range where they've tested missiles in the past and aircraft and things like that. And then the second part is called the Cabeza Prieta and it's a wilderness area uh, deep in the heart of the Sonoran Desert. And then the last part is the Organ Pipes Cactus uh, National Monument. It's a high trafficking area, whether it's drugs or humans. Will we see any of that activity? I don't know. I'm really looking forward to this part of the border exploration because it's gonna be something very, very different, very remote. And I'm interested to see what we'll see out there on El Camino del Diablo.